Good morning, everybody. I'm just setting up. I'm having a few issues with my camera here. I will be there in just a mo. There we go. Good morning, everyone. So welcome back. And today we are doing all about Heart House. So this is a fantastic circuit. If you have got heart disease, or even if you don't have heart disease, this is a brilliant way to get your heart in shape. So we're gonna be working on cardiovascular moves and active recovery as well, which we do know as um, resistance training. But in the cardiac rehabilitation world, we call it active recovery to get you moving on, and then we'll be working on some more distinctive resistance training with that. So today is a lovely Thursday, I'm looking out my window and I can see the beach and it's ready for us to get exercising, pumping out some good energy and having a really good workout. Before you begin, this is a low intensity workout so we are going to take it nice and steady. If you need a chair to work with, do have the chair, you can sit down at any time but the number one rule is you've got to keep your feet pumping. So even when you're sat down, just pump your heels and that will take the blood back up to the level of the heart again. So these calf muscles are known as your second heart. Now I hope you've all read the description below and you've done a good warm up before you join me today. Now the British Heart Foundation and the BACPR, that's of um, England who run all the cardiac rehab programmes, recommend that you should be doing a minimum of 10 minutes warming up before you begin and that is because your tiny little arteries around your heart or your coronary arteries and they take 10 minutes to fully vasodilate and get the good blood, blood supply feeding that heart muscle so you've got lots of oxygen and you are really ready for working out. Today you will need two tins for weights so if you haven't got any weights don't worry just find two tins in your cupboard or if you have got some weights, a variety over here. I recommend using your kitchen sideboard. It's nice and sturdy, so you've got something strong to hold on to throughout. If not, a nice sturdy chair. So without further ado, let's get going. So it's 20 minute circuit, followed by a 10 minute cool down. So three, two, one, off we go. So we're gonna start out with a nice easy tap out to the side, good. Now level one, you're gonna hold on to the sideboard here and just tap it out. Super, shoulders relaxed, chin up, good. Now if you want to bring this up a little bit more, you can push down with alternating hands. That's it, good. So it's a nice push out. Now we've got 60 seconds of each part of our station. So we're gonna be doing a good 10 stations and we've got two sections with each 10 stations. That's gonna take us up to 20 minutes working out. So it's a really good workout today. Good, keep that going, nice steady breath. Now you should be able to have a good conversation throughout your workout today. If you're feeling a little bit too breathless, bring the pace down, maybe drop the arms, just work on the legs. If you feel like you need to work a bit harder, a little bit more energy. Good stuff, next section, here we go. So we're gonna go for a double pump with a knee raise. So we're lifting, lifting, and change. Good, now level one, just holding onto the sideboard there for a little bit of support. Level two, you're gonna push up with the opposite hand. Good, push and push, that's it. Knee raise, well done, nice and steady. Keep that going, core in nice and strong. So you're always holding your tummy muscles in, pulling them back. Good, keep that going. Lovely, now have your drink of water to the side and any time that you need to take a sip, slow down, keep those heels pumping because remember that's our number one rule in cardiac rehab. Keep the heels pumping and then take a sip when you need it. We've got tricep kickbacks coming up. So this is where you'll need your weight. So I'm going to choose these weights today. Strong body, pivot forward from the waist, keeping a flat back. Bring your weights close into your body, elbows high, and extend the arms back. Now we're gonna go for an alternating here. Good, and I'd like you to wiggle your toes within your shoes. So 
So as you're wiggling your toes, you're activating your calf muscles, known as your second heart. So you're pumping the blood back up through to the heart again. When we stop still, we get an effect where all the blood tends to rush down to gravity. So if we can keep our feet moving and wiggling in our toes, in our shoes, then that will help bring that blood back up again. Good, so this is a tricep kickback. Now if you've got really good coordination, you might be able to add in a hill pump as well. Good, pop those down. We're gonna go for a curtsy tap back, so level one. So tap, behind, tap, behind. Good, keeping your chin up there. Open the chest, get the oxygen in. Good stuff. Now I'm gonna to turn to face you. Nice and steady. That's the way. Perfect, so tapping back, good. Now if you want to increase this a little bit more, all you need to do is take a wider stance, good, and you might want to add two arms in, so you're pushing down as you're tapping back. Brilliant, well done, super stuff. Remember that today is a nice low intensity one, but you can pick it up. So if you increase your speed, that will bring your heart rate up a little bit more. Make your movements bigger, good. If you're finding this is a little bit challenging, slow it down, take the arms out. Bicep curl, find your weight, relax the shoulders down, and we're gonna go for an alternating bicep curl. So as you can see, I'm pumping my heels at the same time. Now if you do have any balance issues, just work on one arm, do 10 repetitions, and then swap over to the other side. Good. Keep those heels pumping though. That's it, that's the trick with this. Good stuff. We've got a walk coming up. That's it, chin up there, feeling good. Elbows close into the body as you're doing this great bicep curl. Think about all that shopping that you can lift with one hand. That's the way, really good. Keep it going. So when we get to our walk section, for a low intensity walk, keep your feet close to the floor. Good, so it's nice and low. Now if you want to bring it up a little bit, we're gonna go for a bit of a bigger march. Good, and march it up. Superb. Get to the level where it suits you. So it doesn't matter what I'm doing, it matters how you're feeling at home. If you're feeling, this is feeling a little bit easy for you, you might need to bring your knees up a bit higher. Could you add in a little jog? If you're feeling this is quite breathless for you, slow it down, take it back over to here, and you might just easily want to do a heel pump instead. That's fine. As long as you're keeping your feet moving, you're on the right track. We've got some knee bends coming up, so we're going to head to our sideboard with a knee raise adding in as well. Good, keep it going. You can do this, you've got this guys. Show me those smiles on a movement mission together. Here we go. So feet sturdy on the floor, bending the knees, push the bottom back, and then you're going to raise up your right knee and then place it down onto the floor. So it's a bend. And now lift up your left knee. Good. Alternating lift of the knee. Bend and lift. Good. Now level two, you're going to push up with the opposite hand. Good. Push. Imagine that you're pushing up through the ceiling. Good. Now I'm going to turn to face you. So I'm going to take it a bit deeper and squat it down. Good. So stick with the level that suits you. Now squats and sit to stands from the chair. Any leg extensions are really good for us because they're working the biggest muscle in our legs, the quadriceps, and they really help get the blood pumping around the body. Really, keep that going. Steady breath and breather. Now we're gonna go into a knee bend again, and we're going to go in for a back push. So we're going to bend the knee and then step back with the right leg, keep the heel off the floor. Bend and step. And bend, I should say tap. Good, bend and tap. 
So you're transferring your body weight. This is really good for your balance as well. Maybe you can test your balance out by just hovering your hands over the front. Good. So you've got that for support if you need it there. Now I'm going to turn to face you and take it into a bit of a squat and push it forward. Good. Squat and push. Squat and push. So I'm just extending my leg back as I'm coming out of my squat. Well done. Perfect. Keep it going. You're doing really well, guys. Fantastic. Pec squeeze. So choose your weight. You're going to keep the heels pumping, arms out to the side, and we're going to squeeze the elbows in together, and then come back out. We have done these before. Good, so you're squeezing, and then coming out. Good, now if you've had recent surgery, and you've opened out your sternum, then I recommend using a TheraBand, which you can wrap around your back, and you can pull the TheraBand through under the arms. I've got a whole section on TheraBand workouts, so feel free to go and have a look at that workout, because that will certainly help you. Good. Steady breath. That's the way. Keep those heels pumping. Don't forget about the heels. I know we're focusing on your pectoral muscles, but you need to get those heels working as well. And again, if you do feel a bit unsteady with this one, just go with one hand holding on. Good stuff. Right, now we're into a lunge back. Number one, just nice and easy, alternating lunge back. Keep the pace which is a good level for you, so don't worry about my pace. Okay, so if you want to bring it up to level two, you're just going to reach it forward and tap it back. Good. You might need to pick up the pace a bit more. That's it to get your heart rate going. Whatever feels good for you. Try singing your favourite song at home as you're doing it, then you know if you're getting a little bit breathless when you're singing, that's actually a good level because you can actually hold a conversation, but you're having to work as well at the same time. Well done, keep that going, you got this. Lunging back, super. We've got a walk coming up, where we're going to walk it forward for four, and then back for four. Good, keep it going. We're going to use that sideboard to hold on to if you need to. Ready, here we go. Ow, one. Two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four, good. So level one, you might want to hold on to the side or even hover the hand. Good, level two, you're gonna work it in with the arms. Tap and take it back, good. I tell you what, I need a bigger kitchen, guys. We need more space here. <laughs> but it's amazing what you can do in a limited amount of space that you've got, you can have a full-on workout in just one metre squared. It's just fantastic. The world is your oyster. You can get fit. You don't need these fancy gyms. You just need your kitchen. <laughs> well done. Keep it going. Super. That's it. We've got some double side taps coming up. So this is really good for your cardiovascular section. Good. Here we go. Right. Double side taps, holding onto the side. This is level one. Shoulders back and down, tummy in. Good, now I'm going to turn to face you. Good, and I'm going to bring in the arms as well. I'm going to pull them in. A low row. Now as you're pulling in, we're going to activate between your shoulder blades and squeeze between the shoulder blades. So you imagine that you're cracking a nut. Let's go for a walnut. They're quite hard to crack. You've got that walnut between your shoulder blades got to really crack that nut. Good, and that action will improve your rhomboid muscles, strengthen them up, and open out your chest. So that's a really good upper body posture exercise to be working on. Good, keep it going. Remember to slow your pace if you need to. This might work better for you. Or you might need to bring this up. I'll leave that to you to decide. Good. Walk it out. So this one, we're heading on to a lateral raise. Choose your weight. We're going to march on the spot or come in for a hill pump. Your choice. Shoulders down. Raising the arms up to about shoulder height here and then slowly lower. You need a soft elbow as you're coming up. 
Good, so we don't want to lock out the joints, they need to just be nice and soft. And again folks, if this is a little bit tricky, just work with one hand holding on, do 10 repetitions, and then swap it over to the other side, okay? Good stuff, let's keep going, natural raises, here we go. That's it, nice and steady. Control that movement. If you're getting quite speedy with these, it's an indication that you need a bit of a heavier weight and you need to slow the pace down so you're getting some good strength. Good, okay, we're gonna take it out for a side tap. Side tap out. Good. Now we're gonna push it forward for a punch forward. That's it, alternating punch. Good, now this is level two. If you want to take it down to level one, all you need to do is just hold on to the side, bring your movements in, make everything a bit smaller. That's it, you've got it. Doing well, guys. Super stuff. This is a fantastic workout. You're doing 20 minutes of cardiovascular work with active recovery, and then you're finishing with a good 10 minute cool down. So that's going to be 30 minutes, and you guys at home have already done your warm up. So your body is going to love you today. Good, keep on working. You've got this guys. On a movement mission together, that's it, keep it going. We've got an upright row coming up. Now these ones are great for the deltoid muscles. Hold on to your weight, roll the shoulders back and down. Easy heel pump. Elbows come out to the sides and lower. Now, if you look at my weights, how I'm holding them, you notice that there's about an inch in between the weights there, good. And it's skimming quite close to my chest. So it's quite close to my chest, taking the weights up, elbows come nice and high, so you're like a big seagull, flapping those wings. That's it, check that your elbows are nice and high with this one, good. Keep that going. Now, if this is tricky, and again, hold on to the side, do 10 repetitions on this side, and then just swap it, holding on to the other side. Good stuff, keep going, guys. That's it, heels pumping. Did you forget to do your heels? No. Good, okay, pop them down. Super stuff, knee raise. So, level one, just a nice, light knee raise. So, nothing too major. Maybe taking it to about an inch off the floor if you can. Good. Level two, a little bit higher. And we're going to add in a bicep curl without using weights. Good. That's it. Steady breath. Good. Maybe you might need to work a little bit harder with this one. Take the movement up and add a little bounce as you're coming down. Soft supporting knees as you're coming down. Good. Brilliant, keep that going. We've got a calf raise coming up. So we're gonna head straight to the sideboard, raising the heels. This is a great one to work on our second heart. Brilliant, keep that going. Steady breath, pushing up there. Well done. Heading to the side. So feet flat onto the floor, shoulders back, tummy in. And you're going to raise all the way up, lifting your heels off the floor, and then slowly lowering down. Good. Raising up, good contraction, and then lower down. Now level one, you've got your fingers lightly on the side. Good, just for a little bit of support. Level two, you might want to see if you can bring your hands over, cross them. Good, whatever it feels comfortable for you. This one does take a little bit of concentration. The trick is, is to use your big toe and your little toe and root them into the ground. So as you're raising up, your big toe is there for your good connection. Now I had a, a, a patient once saying, oh, I had an accident, my big toe is actually chopped off. And that was pretty tricky for him. <laughs> good, okay, so we're into our box steps. So we're gonna box it forward, 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 back and back, forward, forward, back and back. So let's try and do it alternating this time. So other leg, forward and back, change and change. Good, so 
Making sure you're balanced on both sides is also really important. So what you do on one side, you've got to do on the other side as well. This is level one. Level two, make it a little bit bigger. Good. Maybe bring your arms in. That's it. Imagine that you're trying to grab some rope, pulling it back. Good. Pull, pull. That's it. Now again, if this is a bit too far, slow it down. That's it. Work at a level that feels good for you. Super. Are we breathing well? Good. Well done. And marching on the spot. So we're going to go for a bent over row here. Flat back, shoulders down. Pivot forward from the hips and hold that lovely flat back. And what you're going to do is bring your weights in. Shoulders down. I'm going to raise one elbow up to the ceiling and then drop it back down, alternating as we're going. Okay, so we're raising and lower, raise and lower, good. Now if you feel this is a bit tricky for you, go for just one arm, do 10 repetitions with one arm and then swap it onto the other side. Now throughout this movement, wiggle your toes. Get those toes wiggling, get the blood pumping, hold your core in. Where is your tummy muscle? Pull that tummy muscle in. Steady breath. Always breathe, breathe. Good, bring that down. Hamstring curl, level one. Curling up, kicking the heel to the bottom. Keep it slow and steady and comfortable for you. Good, and when you're ready, if you want to build it up a little bit more, then we're going to go into a pullback again. Double pullback this time. Just because it's so good for our upper body to open up our posture. We spend a lot of our time rounding the shoulders forward, so let's get that posture open. That's it, good stuff, keep it going. Kicking the heel. Slow the pace down if you need to. Good, lower the height of the leg. You don't need to bring it all the way if that's a bit tricky. Otherwise, let's go. Good, you're nearly there. Steady breath. Come on, guys, you can do this. You've got this. This is so exciting. 20 minutes of heart health workout today. We can do it. Activity completed. Yes. Well done. Now keep those feet moving on the spot. So we're going to finish with a lovely cool down. So we're just going to walk it out. Nice, easy walk. Let's start to bring that heart rate down a little bit here. Good, now we're gonna walk it forward for four, and then back for four. Three, two, one, and four, three, two, one, and back. Good, using the sideboard there if you need it. Good, steady breath. Walking is just such a wonderful way to warm up and to cool down. So if you're ever doing a workout and you're thinking, oh my goodness, how am I going to warm up? Just do a nice, simple walk. With cooling down, you start at a higher level and then you start to reduce your pace over a period of time. And you do the reverse when you're warming up. So you're starting at a lower level and then increasing your pace as you're warming up there. Good. Now it's really important to get a 10 minute walk, uh, cool down in after cardiac rehab workouts and any workouts really because we need that time for your coronary arteries to slowly vasoconstrict so come back to their original size nice and gradually and the heart really likes gradual movement rather than just a sudden start or stop good and that's going to help our hormones and our enzymes in our body get back to normal. Super, marching on the spot here. Nice and easy. Now we're going to go for a tap out and in. Make everything a little bit slower. Hold on to the side if you need to. No arms. That's it, tapping out and in. Good. So leave me uh, a little comment below to what you thought of this workout today. I would love to hear from you guys. And those of you who are following me on Instagram, I hope you enjoyed the little view on top of the hill where I climbed up this huge, huge hill for my heart health day. It was very pretty and beautiful out there. We even had 
wild dark old ponies on the top it was just gorgeous good and then in for an easy walk so you can either come into a hill pump good or just an easy walk whatever suits you better superb now we're going to stop both the feet take a big stride back with your right leg push your back heel flat into the floor now i'm going to swap my legs over because i'm mirror imaging you good so your heel needs to be into the floor for this stretch if you're feeling that's too tricky for you bring your leg in slightly and it means that you need a smaller stance bend your front knee good relax the shoulders down and let's see if we can get your ankle knee hip shoulder and ear and a nice trajectory all the way through running through good you've got the sideboard if you need to hold on to that otherwise just relax your hands down to your side good steady breath enjoy these stretches we hold them for a good good 30 seconds in our cool down here steady breath in and breath out and then gently bring that leg in lovely now we're going to go back for a hill pump again that's because we're now going to get that blood pumping back around so we're cooling the heart rate down nice and gradually rather than just doing all the stretches and not moving and that will also help any toxins that we've built up within the muscle structure so any lactic acid things like that and get it pumped around the body so it can be secreted out and that cause us so many problems in the end good okay try and join to the other leg so we're going to take the left leg back push the back heel flat into the floor bend the front knee both feet facing forward good hold the sideboard if you need to breath in through the nose and breathing out breath in and out nice and relaxed good you're stretching your calf muscle your gastrocnemius just down here good bring that leg in easy heel pump super right let's go for a hip flexor stretch so take your right leg back place your toe into the floor and lift the heel now you're going to tilt the pelvis forward just so you can feel a stretch just onto the top of the hip flexor here just hold it here now you use your sideboard for a little bit of balance if you need to and support otherwise have a go at standing up by yourself brilliant easy heel pump again and change onto the other side so place your toe into the floor lift the heel and tilt the pelvis forward for a hip flexor stretch there good now the next stretch we're going to be doing is a quadriceps stretch if you have had any recent surgery i don't recommend holding onto your leg because you just need a little bit of time for that healing and then you can join us within a good four to six weeks after Superb. So this time we're going to go in for a quadriceps stretch. We're going to bring up the right leg behind you, holding onto your trousers or onto the ankle. Soft supporting knee. Good. Push the hip forward. Feel that stretch running down the front of the thigh. You can take your hands out to the side for a little bit of support if you need that. Good. Steady breath. Chin up there. <sighs> Feeling good today, knowing that you've done fantastic heart health workout with me pop that foot down easy heel pump let's go for it on the other side okay so are we ready bringing that leg up behind you holding on to your trousers or onto the ankles soft supporting knee and again use your hand if you need it for a little bit of balance there steady breath in through the nose and breathing out and again, breath in and out. Easy heel pump. Now, if you do experience any cramping during any of these stretches and you just suddenly get it, just release out of that stretch immediately and then just go for a little bit of a walk around and then see if you can gradually get into that stretch just to loosen off any tight muscles again. Super. So we're going to go onto the hamstrings. We're going to bend both the knees, push the bottom back using the sideboard for support straighten out your right leg in front good now place your hands onto your bent knee and push your bottom away imagine that you've got a, 
a piece of string lifting your tailbone up to the ceiling, so you're tilting your bottom up and away, and that will increase the stretch down the back of the thigh. Now I'm going to turn to face you so you can see me a little bit better. That's it, and you can hold on to the side if you need that. Good, slowly come back up. Well done guys, easy heel pump again. You're doing so well. Let's try it onto the other way, okay. So, both feet flat onto the floor, bend both the knees, push the bottom back, hands on if you need that, straighten out that left leg in front, hands come down to the supporting knee, push the bottom back, nice flat back, good, feeling a stretch running down the back of that thigh, the hamstring there. And we did some hamstring curls today within our workouts to try and get those muscles activated. Good, and then slowly come back up, Easy heel pump, brilliant. Now we're going to work on our chest and our back. So again, pumping the heels, we're going to hug a lovely beach ball, a nice big beach ball, wrapping the arms around and then tuck the head down. What you're aiming to do here is to open out between the shoulder blades. So you really want to round and come forward, good. Because we've done lots of rhomboid, contraction activities today. So we need to open and stretch those muscles out. Brilliant, now open the hands, reach, good, and imagine that you're pushing your fingertips away, pushing a wall behind you away. Now hold it here. If you have had surgery, recent surgery, that's fine, you don't need to go any further. If you want to take it a little bit further and you feel comfortable with that, place your hands onto your bottom and squeeze your elbows in together. Good, so it's a bit like a butterfly stretch here, opening out through the chest, really getting these chest muscles nice and open. So imagine that you're rounding the shoulder heads to go back this time, doing the opposite movement. Super, nice and easy. Notice how I'm still pumping my heels, so I'm still cooling down nice and gradually. Good, now bring the hands in, lovely. And we're just going to do a movement and we're going to stop the feet now. So we're just going to roll the shoulders in and then arch the back, roll and open out. Good. Now if you do feel a little bit wobbly, do it in front of the sideboard. So we're going to roll the shoulders forward, arch the back nice and high and up, tummy muscles in, and then open out. Good, and again, roll the shoulders forward, arch the back up, and then open out. Lovely, last one, roll the shoulders forward, and open out. Brilliant, let's finish with a little bit of adapted Tai Chi, just to get us nice and relaxed and settled. So this one is called Working the Oar. So what I'd like you to do is find your thumb and your middle finger and you're going to imagine that you're rowing the oar. So you're going to take it towards your right foot and your feet need to be around about 45 degrees, nice wide stance, soft knee. So we're going to row the oar, pull it right up towards the centre and then row it to the other side. Now the wonderful person who taught me this was a fantastic Tai Chi master. And he said, imagine that you've got these delicate eggs. You're holding these eggs in between your finger and your thumb. So if the gap starts to close, it means you've actually squashed your eggs. So you've got to really focus with your mind and body, keeping the finger and the thumb the same distance. Now we're going to add in the breath. Breath in through the nose and exhale as you come round. Breath in as you come up and exhale. Now we're going to make the movements a little bit bigger. subscribe and share with your friends that helps me to make more videos for you guys 
And until next Thursday, I cannot wait to see you. Keep safe, keep well, and see you soon. Ciao, ciao, everybody. Bye.